Welcome. My name is Catherine. Today is part four of showing 60s and 70s records from my collection. My previous videos are organized in playlists on my homepage if you'd like to watch those. The first record is If You Can Believe Your Eyes and Ears by the Mamas and the Papas. And this was released February 28th of 1966. Mine is a fourth pressing, as indicated by this seal right here, and I will explain. The very first pressing had the toilet exposed, and this one has the scroll over it, right here. And the second pressing, they added the scroll, and they listed the song California Dreaming on that scroll. The third pressing, had the song, all three singles, adding Monday, Monday, and I Can Call Your Name. Now, I Will Call Your Name was released in 65 and it didn't chart well. And then the second single was California Dreaming, it reached number four. And then Monday, Monday was the number one song. So if you have a copy with the toilet exposed, it's a collector's item. Now, I bought this at a thrift store for $8. And I bought it for the singles, Monday, Monday, and California Dreaming. I think California is one of my favorite, California Dreaming is one of my favorite songs in the 60s. I feel like it's a staple song. And the track listing, I have it written down. There's some cover songs on here. But I just like the, the vocal harmony of the group. And Mama Cass's voice is just really wonderful. She's a talented singer. And I'll show you the record. It's a fairly clean copy. It's on the Dunhill label. Record number two is the best of Smokey Robinson and the Miracles. This is on the Imperial label and it was released in 1979. And this is one of those records that was advertised on the TV as seen on TV and you call the 1-800 number. And I found this at my local record store. The album sleeve is, you know, it has some wear, but the vinyl is in very good condition and I'll show you. The track listing is on the back. It's just a very nice collection of Smokey Robinson's songs. As you can see there, there's 20 songs on it. And I have many favorites. The on side one, Shop Around. And this fifth track is You Really Got a Hold on Me. On side two of the first disc, it has that's what love is made of and I like it like that the second record oh baby baby and the song I second that emotion side two is track of my tears and tears of a clown so tears of a Cr clown is a really great dance song now Smokey Robinson is a legendary artist and he was a producer and record executive at Motown Records with Barry Gordy and he's a very talented songwriter. And he's written several hit songs for other artists, such as My Guy by Mary Wells, Get Ready, and My Girl by The Temptations, and I Just Called to Say I Love You by Stevie Wonder. And I think listening to Smokey Robinson's music is best described in this little 45 by ABC. Everything's good in the world tonight when Smokey sings. Record number three is Kenny Rogers' Greatest Hits. And this was released in September of 1980. I keep it in my 1970s box because most of the songs on here are from 1970 and it's on Liberty Records and it's a US copy. And Kenny Rogers became a solo artist in 1975 and his first successful single was Lucille. And he 
quickly became an international star, his songs were played both on the pop charts and the country charts. In my favorite memory of Kenny Rogers, when I was in grade school, I had a music teacher that played acoustic guitar, and he taught us to sing The Gambler and Coward of the County. And this record reached number one in the United States, both on the country charts and the pop charts. And it was 12 times platinum in the United States. It went platinum in many countries in the world. And when I went to log this on, on Discogs and to catalog this record in my collection, I had to be real specific and narrow it down because it really was a record all over the world. These are really easy to find. Now there are three singles on this album that aren't included on any other of Kenny Rogers' studio albums. They are as follows. The first one is Lady, written and produced by Lionel Richie for Kenny Rogers. Number two is Love the World Away, which was in the movie Urban Cowboy. And number three is Long Arm of the Law, which was a fan favorite. It didn't chart as high, but he performed it in concert. I also have a CD copy of Kenny Rogers' Greatest Hits. So I can listen to Kenny Rogers at home on the record or take this on the go and listen to Kenny Rogers in my car. So in part five, when I do this series next time, I'm going to show some classic rock records from the 70s. Let me know what you think of these albums and are you a fan of any of these artists? And I thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video.